brewery SEO. If you're looking for optimizing your local brewery or any beer company or any marketing for anybody in the beer industry, this video will walk you through how to optimize your business for SEO. This is your website right here. And your Google Ads remarketing tag is not properly set up. It's basically saying your code is found outside of the body tag. I'd also recommend you add the Google call tracking to your website as well. I will, those are my quick observations, at least with your Google tags. I see that you have your Facebook pixels on here, but you can probably add some more Facebook pixels to track the conversions and stuff like that. And then I'm going to give you some deep insight into your website in terms of crawl issues. So this is Ahrefs. I already did an audit of your website and basically your overall health score is 40%. Ahrefs is a reputable is a reputable um, SEO company or SEO data company that provides a lot of data for SEO specialists and optimizing websites. So basically they're saying you have some duplicate title tags on your page. You have some duplicate meta descriptions. Some are missing. Your H1 content can be optimized, which is like your heading one tags. Your content can be optimized. You have some bad duplicates. Um, you have some redirects, which are not bad, but you have a lot of pages that are 404, which basically means it's a broken link to that page. So these are all 404 pages. So if I click onto this link, it's going to basically bring me to a broken page. So all these issues should get fixed, whether you de-index these pages or if you just, this is what a 404 means, couldn't find what you're looking for. So you have, look at the Data Explorer. So 200 means everything's fine. 301 is a redirect. That is not an issue as well. But 200 means your links are fine. But once you start seeing 404 errors, that's a dead link. So this is a 404, Harpoon Brewery, Vermont's office. This is a 301, 301. These are all fine. Everything in green is fine. 301, 301. All right. And to do how to create a scenario. Da, 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 da. So this is the crawl log. Outlines 18, 409. This literally tells me the performance of your pages, how long it takes to load, what the issues are, slow page. I'm going to also do a page speed check on your website too. So this report will tell me how fast your website is loading or your loading time of your website to see how it affects your users. All right, while that's loading, I'm gonna finish this. So again, this is just telling you the time to first bite, your load time, and a lot of cool things to help you optimize your website. All right, so see, these are some of the things as well. I got another tool that I use. I did not crawl your website yet, though. Okay, yes, I did. All right, so this is Screaming Frog. What this does is it basically crawls your website to find those issues that I mentioned in Ahrefs. I have multiple tools that I use for my clients. This is just your SEO. This is not your own social media advertising. You can make another video for that as well. So. When they say page titles over 65 characters, this is what it means. Kit one Google grilled chicken with mango salsa harpoon brewery. Anything over 65 characters, Google just shows the dot, 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 and it cuts you off. So if your website basically is not anything over 65 characters, your users are not going to see it. And then these are your meta descriptions. This is a meta description right here. At harpoon, our team is made up of hardworking, life of beer. If this sounds like you, great. All right, so now you have 40 of them that are missing, meaning you don't have anything there. What Google will automatically do is they'll just populate the information on your website into the meta description, but technically you don't have anything in your meta description for any of these lessons. 
Um, and then your meta keywords. So you have two or two meta keywords are not necessarily as important as they used to be. So it's info, resources, friendly page, resource. All right, and then your H1s basically saying that you have two H1s that are missing on this page and this page. And then H1 is basically like what you're telling Google your page is about. So your H1 is the main keyword for the page. And then I noticed you're ranking for a lot of keywords as well. Give me one second. These are some of the keywords that I looked at. Trillium Brewery, I'm not necessarily saying you want to rank for it, but this is on average the average volume of searches that keyword is getting. And Lamplight Brewery, Mystic Brewery, Boston Brewery Tours. So these are some of the keywords you'd want to rank your website for. So Boston Brewery Tours, you're already ranking for Harpoon Brewery. Boston, you just want to make sure you're number one. Seaport Brewery, Harpoon Brewery Tour, Boston Breweries, Boston Brewery Tours. Sam Adams, I have some methods and some strategies to actually rank for your, comp for your some competitors' keywords as well. We can discuss that further if you like. But Brewery Bus Tours, Sip of Boston Brew Tour, Trillium Brewery, some of these may be duplicates. I need to go back and fix this. But this just gives you an idea of Boston Craft Breweries, Harpoon Brewery Hours, Brewery and Cane, Brewery Tours in Boston. These are all keywords that you want to rank for. Night Shift Breweries, Boston City Brewery Tours. UFO Bears Distilleries in Boston, Harpoon Breweries, Boston Breweries Maps, Boston Brewery Map, Massachusetts Breweries Maps, City City Brew Tours, New Breweries in Massachusetts. So this is giving you an idea of what I'm talking about. I did not fix this. I apologize. I was supposed to do this before this call. Mystic Beer. All right. And then this is like another tool that I have. But some of these, some of these um, search volumes are actually... A little odd, but I'll, I'm going to look into that further. But brewery in Boston, you want to make sure you're ranking for this keyword. Brewery tours in Boston. My brewery jaws, a brewery in Boston area. Oldest brewery in Boston. Brewery district Boston. Brewery in downtown Boston. Brewery Reading in Boston. So now this gives you an idea of keyword research. And then I'm going to take a look at your page speed. So this is really good. Your page speed is 81%. Your Y, your y slow score is 62%. We can easily fix these. This is basically going to slow down your website. Your leverage cache browsing. And you need to avoid more landing page redirects. Your y slow score. Add by headers. So this gives you an idea of what needs to be fixed on your website in terms of SEO purposes for speed. Before you start doing any advertising or driving any traffic to your business, I recommend you fix everything on your website and you make sure the foundation of your website is at least set in place before you start driving any traffic to your business. And then, um, so GTX metrics, oh, the last thing I need to show you is... Sorry about the word. So this is the Excel file, basically. That we would go through to make sure that your site is basically optimized. We recommend you do this either as you're doing advertisements or before you start your advertisements. But it's all up to you at this at the end of the day. And I'm also going to send you some more information as far as um, I'm send you some more information based on the ads that we want to do for your company. But basically, we do a Google business optimization, your citations, we check your black hat, we make sure you don't have any fake reviews, check all your social media profiles, your penalties, your search console, your site-wide on-page issues, internal links, external links, images, missing alt tags, title tags, too short, title links. I showed you what you have with the 404s and your 301s and your 302s. 302s are temporary redirects, redirects 301s are permanent. 404s are errors in your page. I talked to you about breadcrumbs and basically letting the user know where you are, where they are on your website. Your schema, I would say your schema markup is important. Let me double check your schema right now. Social media.
So let me check your schema right now. Let's see if you already have it. I'm assuming you would. Okay, so you don't have your schema done either. So your schema is basically going to help optimize for your Google Maps optimization. And if you don't know what I mean by schema, let me show you my website. So you don't, you have a, there's a lot of technical issues that I would say that can get fixed with your website while we're also doing advertisements. But let me get this link to show you what schema markup is. And I'm surprised you guys don't have schema markup done already. All right, so this is a local business schema and it basically tells Google what your business is about. So it's a local business for every woman's digital marketing agency, full service digital marketing agency in Boston, providing digital marketing services for small businesses. This is literally just backend stuff for Google. And what the search engines did basically, what all the search engines did is they figured out a way to create a similar system to have their crawlers crawl businesses' websites. So if you don't have your schema done, that's gonna affect your local map path ranking. So we got a lot of opportunities. And then when it comes to Facebook. Ads. Just the general back end of Facebook. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with Facebook advertisements. Facebook owns Google. I'd even recommend you do YouTube ads as well. I will give you a quick little intro on that. But Google owns Facebook and Facebook owns YouTube. Google, YouTube, Facebook owns Instagram, Google owns YouTube. So basically, let's just say if you wanted to do an engagement ad or a traffic ad, traffic ads are typically some of the best. But you can basically target people within a given location so what's the address yeah there's a lot of optimizations that you can do with this website the fact that you don't have your maps on your website either that affects your local optimization because there should be a map on every single one of your pages with your location on it. Like right now I'm looking for your address and I'm just doing it to make, to show you how to do a Facebook ad. But if I was a customer and I wanted your address, why is it not on the page? Hey there, please call, please call. I understand you want me to call, but I should just be able to get your address. And this is me personally just trying to get your address just to do an ad. But this is what, this is your customer journey. So now your customer would have to leave your website to get your address because Google do not have it on your website. This should be on your website. There. I should not have had to go through that work. It's not a lot. It's not that it's a lot of work. It's just people are really special nowadays. So I'd say I don't know what your average distance from your average customers is, but let's say twenty-five miles is about two million people within a twenty-five miles of your address. But you're also targeting twenty-one and older. So 2.8 million people, let's say Harpoon. So there are 26,000 people within the local area that have an interest in Harpoon Brewery. You can target Samuel Adams, which you can target, maybe not Blue Moon, I guess you can target Blue Moon as well. Anybody that likes beer is who your target audience is. Let's 
three. There you go. Nothing three. So let's just say we want to start with this 370,000 people ages 21 to 65 within a 25 mile radius of your business. Let's say you want to start with a $20 a day budget. $20 a day. You can choose post engagement. You can choose to start in on time. And this is where you would actually create the ad. And if quick, you're not familiar with Facebook ads, I'll give you a quick little, um, my personal page so this is a sponsored ad right here and that's basically what we'd be doing for you and you can run them on Facebook and Instagram so when we choose placements this is where we would choose where we want the ads actually running and I'm gonna give you a quick little run as I Google Ads. Where are you, Google Ads? Let's see if it works. Essentially, you can do the same thing with Google Ads. With Google YouTube Ads. So how YouTube Ads work. So these are search campaigns. So if I want to make a YouTube, I'm not, I haven't really done much as a lot of myself. Um, so let's say you want to do website traffic. You can do search, display, shopping, or video. The video is basically YouTube. So you can drive conversions, get more conversions. And YouTube is actually much cheaper to do ads on compared to Facebook. So basically, you choose your you choose what you don't want your ads to show up on. You choose your delivery. You exclude certain audiences. You name your group. You choose your demographics. It obviously be going twenty one plus. You can household income, parental status, gender. You can choose any audiences. For example, let's get there. Click on who they are. Parental status, marital status, da 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 da. Let's put on. Um, uh, and you can target remarket people that have an interest with your business, but I'm not sure if your remarketing tag was working. Yeah, your remarketing tag is not working. I would suggest you fix this as soon as possible. And you should get your phone call tag up and running as soon as possible, too. So if you don't know what the phone tag is, this is one of my clients. We're doing some battle for. So these are his tags. Let's call him one or two. I know he doesn't look good. So this is the website call metrics. And this is your Google Ads remarketing tag. So you have your Google site tag, your remarketing tag, your analytics, and your website call metrics. This basically tells you how many calls you're getting in on your website. So you don't have that either. So I'd recommend you get the call tracking, you get the calls, and you get you fix this immediately because you cannot do any remarketing right here on Google. You might be able to do remarketing with Facebook, but you should definitely be wanting to do remarketing with YouTube and Google as well. And then you can basically choose the keywords and type in. Okay. Let's see if it works. Now this is YouTube giving me keywords. Oh, that would be nice. Mm 
Maybe just give me suggestions. I don't know what is going on. Alright, there's clearly some issues with this. I would come back to it. But then you would basically put the video link that you'd want to run the ad on. This is where you would choose the topics, arts, auto entertainment. Um, we'd probably choose food and drink. Possibly food and drink. I would do all this for you, though, and I would speak with my team. And then you would do the placements, whether you want it on YouTube channels, YouTube videos, websites, apps, app categories. And then save and continue, and then you would launch that ad. So this just gives you a quick overview of what we would do for you. And my name is Cliff again, and I enjoyed having our conversation.